Okay, I'm in the process of putting the spindles back together. We got the kingpins out of here, but <laughs> it was really a really tough job. Uh, you know, in theory, you should be able to take this bolt out, which is a tapered bolt, and then you take the snap ring out of the end, and they should drive out. Well, it wasn't driving, no way in the world. Uh, I had a 20 ton press on it, and that wasn't moving it. So what we ended up doing was taking an abrasive wheel, cutting the bearing out all together, and cutting the shaft, you know, cutting clean through, which isn't easy when you're dealing with the balls, because this is a thrust bearing. Got that out of there, then we were able to move this piece down far enough to get the wheel in there and cut that piece, you know, cut between here. And then the two ends fell out, but at least then we were just dealing with the shaft being stuck in this short piece. But even then, it was all a 20 ton of press and a lot of heat could do to get it to budge. And then she'd come with it, boom, boom, you know. See, she come out of there, but it wasn't happy to do it. No, it went back in really easy. You know, they, they're a tight fit, a very precise fit, but it went back in smoothly. Uh, now all I'm doing is putting, they've got, you know, after the bushings and everything are in here, then there's a welch plug that goes on the end. And on top of that, there's a snap ring, but these welch plugs, you really want to give them a little bit of a wrap. Kind of expands them out a little. You know, they're kind of curved. You flatten them out, it pushes like a soft plug on a car. What I was going to bring up was the snap rings. Now, on any snap ring like this, when they're made, there's a round side and a sharp side. You know, in a situation like this, it's got to be round side down. I'm sure a lot of people don't pay any attention to that at all, but it is important that they go in a certain way. Or they can work themselves loose again. Which, you know, being a front end component could be a disaster. Okay, now after the snap ring is in, they've got another cap that goes over the top of that. No, there wasn't, on, uh, when I took it apart, there was none of these caps in there, but either they fell out or they maybe never were there. I don't know. Doesn't actually show them in the book. But that just seals the unit up. And I did put new grease zerks in because, you know, grease zerks are a wear item. You know, pretty soon the uh, grease gun doesn't want to stay on them. And I had some of them that, uh, you know, there's a little spring in there that holds the ball up. Well, the spring was bad in one. You know, like here you can see the ball isn't all the way up to the top. You know, and then they let water in. They let grease out. So they're cheap, you know, to buy grease zerks. Just makes it a lot easier down the road. But I'm putting these together because tomorrow some of my other parts are going to show up. Uh, a lot of the suspension bushings and stuff so I can start putting that together. And in a few days the rest of the components will all be here. But this will get me a, a start on this. But I, when I took them apart and I glass beaded them because I really wanted to get any bit of corrosion or anything out of inside here so that they would go back together again. You know, because, like I say, they were really, really tight. Uh, I can't imagine taking something being tighter. It was like they were one solid piece, but they came out of there. But very reluctantly. But that looks good. Get her all back together.
or at least get a good start on it. And here I got, I bought new drums for the front. They're like a hundred bucks a piece. And I'll see, I might end up replacing the ones in the back too. I've got uh, new brake shoes all the way around. I'm going to rebuild all the brake cylinders. But I got to start from someplace, so I, you know, I'm, I got to the end of the suspension on the front. Got to work my way out now. But these shafts, in theory, you know, they're anchored in this middle part and they run on the two bushings that are here. And they're held in place with this is a, there's a flat on the shaft and this bolt has got a flat on it. It's a tapered bolt. That's what holds the pin from moving. So it's going together. But well, like I say, kingpins are never fun. I was, I was glad to finally see the end of them. But we'll see what parts show up tomorrow. I know with some of the suspension fittings are coming tomorrow. You know, all the bushings, like this bushing has to be replaced. So I can start putting that stuff together. Because I got to get around the ground again, this being up in the air. You know, I can't move it when she's blocked up. At least if I can get her together enough so I can get her on the ground again, that would be a big help. Because you know, it, that was a fine place to park it for the time being, but I really, I want to move some dirt there, and it's kind of in the way. So, get her on wheels again. It'll be a big help. But I got to set them brakes all up, and I got to rebuild those master, or the slave cylinders, and I got a kit coming for the master cylinder too, so I can go all through that. But at least I'm on the, going the right direction. That is a good start.